I saw, as I sit in Austin's bedroom, I, I am asked to write down how much the loss of my son has affected the family and myself. Well, I can tell you, but you still will truly never know exactly how it feels. Imagine all of a sudden your son didn't come home that warm, sunny Thursday evening, October 25th, 2012. He didn't come home the next day or even the following days. He never did return home. He was hit, then ran over and left there in the ditch alone to die. He was left there throughout the night in the dark. And then all the next day while it poured rain and then the weather turned cold, he was found two days later, face down in a stream full of water. This is what I see and feel every day. My son still ain't there. Embedded in my head. I have to go to the cemetery and to the same spot where my son was found just to be able to talk to him. I never get to hear him reply. I will never again get to hear about his days at school or see him play with his little brother Jeffrey or playfully pick on his sister Brooke. I can't even fathom why he is not here with us today. It is little like a knife repeatedly puncturing us in our hearts. To think that from October 25th, 2012 and on, we didn't get to celebrate his 16th birthday which was only 10 days away, November 4th. We didn't celebrate Christmas together either. He didn't and will never get his driver's license or play football ever again. He will not get to join the Army and then become an Alaskan State Trooper. His hopes and dreams, his life, hatefully taken away by this woman, mother of three, grandmother of three, Kathy L. Humphreys. All future family pictures will be empty. Our house, our lives permanently empty. The many, many days that will turn into years that we will be forced to live without him will still yet be the next biggest mountain to face. I am mentally faced minute by minute of staying on this earth to take care of my other two children. Or is Austin's mom going to find my lost son? The guilt that I carry in my mind of not protecting him that day is excruciating. I have let Austin down, and I have let my family down. Jeffrey, who is my youngest son, is only six. All he knew was Austin. Austin was his life. Their love for each other was unconditional. Austin always protected Jeffrey, and he would be like a fatherly-like figure to him as well as his bestest Bubby. Jeffrey has now the longest and loneliest road to travel throughout his life. Our lives are permanently scarred. Nothing is and will be the same. Some of us will permanently be on medication. I have not and cannot return to work, and counseling will be a lifelong necessity. I ask that you give Kathy L. Humphreys the maximum sentence for each crime she committed against my son. I ask that Kathy be fined and expected to pay the maximum restitution for each felony as well. I feel that she should be isolated away from the public for everyone's safety, as well as be expected to give back to the community when released. Remember, Kathleen Ann Humphreys chose to wake up that October 25th, 2012 morning <coughs> to start drinking, use her set of keys for the truck that her family even provided for her, and then drive down the road to where my son was walking in the ditch and ultimately struck <coughs> him. Thinking only of herself, she returned home to then lie to her family members about how she damaged the truck. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else from the state? No, thank you, Ron. The defendant rise. Is there anything you want to tell the court before the court passes the sentence? No. Yes, I would like to speak to the Hauser family. Every morning when I wake up, it might be hit the floor, knowing I am the cause of this horrific tra tragedy. I am devastated. I constantly feel so much guilt, shame, and condemnation. 
daily I face with the fact that I have taken the life of a precious child. Poor baby. I take responsibility for my actions. I want you all to know how truly sorry I am. There's nothing I can say or do to make this up to you. It is a tremendous pain that will be carried in my heart forever. I hope one day to be able to use this terrible tragedy to help others. Hopefully at prison I can reach out with the problems with others who have problems. Maybe my experience will keep someone from making this terrible decision to drink or drive. After prison, I hope to have the courage to speak at AA or schools. Nobody think this could ever happen to them. I don't want anyone else to ever have to experience the constant pain and guilt that I live with every day. What precious life take this too many?